He had never encountered gut-wrenching fear before until knowing and loving her. The thought of anything happening to her put the fear of God into him like he had never known. It was as if nothing else in this world mattered. He knew he would risk anything to protect her, even his own integrity. So much so, he had almost been willing to risk what he valued most, his word and his honor. He had almost been willing to break her heart, to stab her in the back, to betray the woman he loved to keep her safe. But when it came to it, he just couldn't do it. Even now, he didn't know if he was going to do it for her or if he just had more selfish motives of running away with her and having her to himself forever, if that was even a realistic option. But whatever had made him back away from that decision, he just couldn't go through with it. Either way, they would both have to live the rest of their lives from that choice. He just hoped he had made the right one. As the night was setting in, he was sweating now in spite of the cold, with concern over what might have happened to her. He was now torn between waiting there and going to find her. What if she was in harm and that's why she wasn't there? But what if he left and he just missed her arrival? He waited in the cold, letting puffs of steam come from his anxious breath as sweat beaded up on his furrowed brow. It was dark now. She wasn't coming. So now there was no choice. He must go find her. It was dangerous, but it was a risk he had no choice but to take. He snatched up his bag and turned to leave as he saw a slender figure approaching him in the distance. His heart skipped several beats, hoping against all hope that it was her. Then his heart went from skipping beats to full-on flips, racing and just about to bust out of his chest when his eyes confirmed that it was her. And she was unharmed. He had never felt more relieved, full of joy, and just complete. He rushed to her, ready to scoop her up for the first embrace since he had held her on their journey so long ago. The thought of her returning to his arms had him over the edge. He ran to her, beaming with joy at the sight of her approaching him. It had been so long since they had been alone together. He was filled with joy. All he wanted to do was scoop her up in a long, overdue embrace. This was the woman he would risk it all for. But he was abruptly stopped dead in his tracks. When he saw the unmistakable fury in her eyes, she looked like she was ready to kill. He didn't even have time to ponder any theory behind this. When she marched up to him, he was blindsided by an ear-ringing blow to the side of his face. That giddy smile of his was quickly whipped right off it, and he was left standing there dumbfounded. While his head was still spinning, she slammed her hands into his chest as hard as she could, knocking him back to stumble a bit on his feet. He was stunned. I know what you tried to do to me, about your plan to wipe away my life. Who do you think you are? How could you? I never want to see your face ever again. The only reason I am here is to tell you that in person. Lily. Wait, let me explain. No, I don't want to hear explanations of why you felt you held the right to undo my life. My life, not yours. I just want a yes or no answer. Did you or did you not consult with Wizard Azar about turning back my life? Please, Lily, just hear. Yes or no? she demanded. Yes, at first, but do you know that I healed a man today? And I plan for far greater than that. You do not own me, nor do you hold the keys to my life or the direction I will go. You will never choose. I do. Do you have any idea what you tried to do? Or do you even care? How dare you be the one to try to dictate my life, Princess Lillian Sinclair of Taladia? You have always been against me using my powers. You may not believe in me and what I am capable of, but I do. I will shape and protect this land. You are against me, which makes you a traitor and an enemy. I will never, ever sacrifice myself or my destiny. And if you don't have enough respect for me to know that, then I can't allow you in my life. My purpose will always come first before you or even myself, because without purpose, what are we anyway? She had tired of shouting now and softened her tone in heartache. What's worse is that I trusted you. I will find my own way out of here. I never want to see you again. She glared at him, straight in the eyes, and then turned and ran back to the palace.